Hello everybody, welcome to the official live cast of the round of 32 tiebreaker between Bright and Andri. Bright was his group winner, he's got Necromantic up against Andri with Imperial Ability. The colours being stripy and uh, pinkish, both of them I think are pretty close, so we're going to go red and blue mode. I can tell you that Bright is Russian and qualified through Ruby BL. Andrea Spanish and qualified via the Season 3 official playoffs. And looking at the teams, it's a pr it's a pretty standard Russian build. I guess this is the Russian build. This is what Diomed and Bright both have gone with. Four guards, three positionals, but not two wolves. Andy Devo went two wolves. They've gone two ghouls and only one wolf. It means they get 13 players. And they get a wrestle ghoul as well as a block ghoul. And only one block wolf that has to do everything himself. If he gets removed, it's terrible. But, you know, most of the time, you know, they're concentrating on keeping the wolf safe. Whereas Devo goes more for, you know, constant surfs and claw hits. I, I prefer the Devo high roll strat. Um, you know, over the, the you know, over, rather than having him as like a safety kind of thing. I do prefer the more aggressive way. But, you know. Diamed's done amazingly so far and is through to the round of 16 and, and Bright could be joining him. And when we look at this Imperial Nobility team, we've got, oh my god, they've got a Blitz. They've got six guard using the double on the thrower, which is quite nice, and two blodges, which is great, and a leader thrower. So this is the, this is the build that I liked for Imperial Nobility. After watching them play a lot, I do feel like there's a lot of merit to the block ogre and a block thrower so that you get to uh, punch things more. I feel like mostly they win by getting lucky with the ogre. And so there you go. So this is this is the solid, you know, this is the this is the strong and stable build, but I do prefer the more high rolly ogre block, block ogre and just punch with them as much as possible and hope you get mighty blow removals. Yep. Yep, high rolls, high roll struts are they're good. High roll struts are pretty good, because at this level, at this level, you see, this is the thing, here, Dev, Right, to win games, to you try and beat Bright without getting lucky. <laughs> you know, it's not easy. You try to beat uh, anybody in this round of sixteen without getting lucky. It's not easy. So. If this had been a block, it would have been a 75% knockdown instead of 55, right? It would have been a little bit better. And that is the high roll. Oh my goodness. Instant Kaz. Oh my god, what a blitz. Now, <laughs> yes, Bright was lucky to win the toss and start with a ball, but that blitz was unbelievable, wasn't it? That is outrageous good fortune for Andre. And just as I said, you know, blitz with the ogre and try to get lucky. It would have, it would have, you know, block would have helped there, wouldn't it? Um, gets the knockdown, gets the cars, no regen. Andre's uh, bright, sorry, a switch from knocking down three guys in the LOS to having a fleshy removed and struggling to make LOS hits and having to protect the ball versus this. This is a disaster for Bright. He could be going out. It's not over. It's not over. But this is about as bad as it could have started after winning the toss for Bright. Flip me. I mean, he's probably going to have to dodge with a cool. These would have been better one square back, I think. Because I feel like this ghoul can only dodge away, right? He can't punch anything. He doesn't want to stand there and get punched, so he has to dodge away. So these guys probably should have been one square back to bracket him. Though I guess this guy's in scoring range. There's a counter removal, but um, a Imperial Retain alignment not quite on the same level as a Guard Flesh Golem. Yeah, Dimmy be love it. Dimmy crawling out of the woodwork to say how good knobs are. Yeah, what a massive, what a massive swing. Massive equity shift. That blitz. Best team in BB. Yeah, I mean, Fenn did something there, right? Fenn stopped the follow in here, which would have given him a 2D on there. So Fenn has already done something. 
not critical, but you know, it's done something. Getting to claw this guard is pretty nice. He does get the knockdown. Yes, it, uh, it's very easy to say in hindsight. Wherever you put it, it's, it can get too deep by the ogre, though, can't it? Ah, so the blitz lets him get that 2D. Just has to push him away to there. So he can't hit the wolf. <laughs> and this is this is still collapsing. I guess he's gonna put the ball here and then like try to dodge the ghoul to there. Or maybe he's gonna go here. No, he can't because there's a guard there, so he has to go here. And then it's just whether the ghoul goes there or there, if he even makes the dodge at all. So far it's a fail. Oh my goodness. Well, it's not over. But the ghoul not only fails his dodge, he is also injured. The ghoul does not regen. Never lucky, bright. This is real bad, yeah. I mean, Bright has kind of struggled on offense both games. And the combination of turn zero and turn one. <laughs> yeah, two positionals down for the match on turn one of your drive. He's also getting the ball hit by an ogre as well. Oh, no, he's not. He didn't get a power. He could have taken them both down there. Yeah, like like this is the thing. This is this is why I like this is why I like the six guard, right? Like the guard is hard to deal with, and if you get removals, it's good. Admin dices, yes, <laughs> yeah. He didn't have them in the group stage. He he didn't have them in the first couple of games, but uh, he certainly had them in this one so far. This is actually really nice having the the two players on the wolf here, right? It can't hit anything. I mean, you could put in a guard so it can hit one, but then it's not great at all. In fact, it's getting three diced. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. He's got one wolf and you get the three dice there. I don't like the follow, but oh my goodness. On turn one of the game... <laughs> Two permanent Kaz and one KO'd. Oh dear, if, if Bright wins this, he'll be a worthy champion of the tournament. Because this is hard. <laughs> this is really, 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 really hard right now. Only gets a push, so nothing. Well, a removal, and it is one of the guarders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Honestly, Punter, Bright is almost just playing for kicks on turn one, yeah. Yeah, that's brutal, isn't it? That is brutal. Absolutely brutal. He's got eight players, but his first is nine, so it's it's not that bad. It, he's just got to he's just got to think to himself, it's not that bad, and he you know he can hopefully turn this around. Or pills the ogre away. Still doesn't do a whole lot for him. This one will be overtime. Yes, Luffy Brittio, this is the tiebreaker match. 
They drew the first two games 1-1 both times. So this is the deciding tiebreaker match. So overtime is enabled and it will be used if required, as will kicks. So far no game has gone to kicks. All oh, right. Oh yeah. No, this isn't. This is turn one. Yeah. Sorry. This is turn one. <laughs> well, turn two. This is turn two of the first half. I mean, there is overtime enabled in the match, but this is turn two, and already we've got a dead flesh goal and a dead ghoul and a KO wolf. So, I like the foul there. Right? It's like it's not. A great decision normally to do this foul I don't think not great like not bad but not great it's high risk high reward isn't it and you this is dead if there's ever a time for high risk high reward it's when you've been blown off the pitch on turn one <laughs> well Andrew in the next round he might he might not get it through Niagara it's not over but it is Zerpils the German is waiting for the winner of this. With Skaven. He won't exactly be loving all of the stand firm, but then he does have Juggernaut. I mean, I would have thought so, Steve, until this happened. <laughs> this is making it very difficult. I, I mean, like... As Andre now, right, you have to think, I cannot concede this half, I have to end the half 1-0 up, right, like this is, this is how I felt versus Truck in uh, my first game of the group stage, I, I felt very confident that I would end up the half 1-0, um, and like, so I was just playing that in mind, right, like I've got all the time in the world, I don't have to rush anything, I will get the turnover score and I will win this half 1 0. That is just how I thought right from the very start. And I'm, I'm sure Andrew will be thinking the same way. Like, he just has to not mess it up. He has to he has to make sure of 1 0. Defending this drive now is not a win for him, right? It, it's, already, it's already defended. You just have to get the 1 0 up at the end of the half here. You have to. It's a nice stun. I think it would have been corralled anyway, right, by this guy. And then he's got the he's here. This is this is really, really good. Really good for Andre. Zerpils tuk tuk. Zerpils, Zerpils. It's more more like Zerpils, right, probably. German. Zerpils! <laughs> Whatever it is. Um, I don't know the name, honestly. Yes, yep, eh, Dev. Have you got some kind of strategy guide where you say this? Or do you, <laughs> or do you just not... Uh, or do you just wait till it happens and then say, ah, I knew this all along. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but yes, that, I mean, it's true. It is true. Like, you don't need to chase for the ball, right? If you, if you just demolish them at the middle, then, um, then yeah, there's nowhere for them to go. So... <laughs> No way, Dev. No, we're looking to sell some. But you've, you never play, so you'd never want any, would you? Honestly, you need to sell the best coaching. No, it's right, though. I mean, he is right. He's right. I was just... I was mocking, but he, he's correct. <laughs> he is correct. Like, it's... Removals are massive, right? It's, and especially the closer you are in coach skill. You know? If, if, if like, maybe... Bright was playing an average Blood Bowl player, then um, 
then he could win, you know, against the remo- uh, you know, like no, if Andre if Andre was playing against a regular football player, maybe he could win this game without these. But you know, he kind of needs these to be bright, and he's got them, and uh, and sit, vice versa, right? You know, Bright didn't be Andre in the first two games. You kind of need these removals to go in your favour. To an extent, obviously L's change that a bit. With L's, it's less less reliant on the removals. But of course, what it means is if you get the removals, you can win. Even versus L's. This guy is in range to one dice it. But again, I don't think he needs to. I just think he needs to smash him here. But he does need to put something out. Like, he needs some pressure at some point. Doesn't need it immediately. Doesn't need to hit the ball immediately. He needs to completely choke the life out of him here. And then get something through at some point. And he does have to get the ball off him eventually, right? Like he has to he has to score this drive. This is uh, this is real bad for Bright. Good for <laughs> good for <laughs> probably everybody else in the World Cup, honestly. Um, because again, you know, Andre's a really good player. It's not against Andre, um, but you know, I do think mobility are not as good as Necro. It's not over. Don't say it's over. But, um. Image is an absolute dicey. It's an absolute dicey. And he's probably just going to walk up to the ghoul now. The thing is, the ghoul can then just dodge away, right? So, you know, maybe he shouldn't just walk up to him, right? Maybe he should, like, walk to here or something. If you, if you had this guy here and this guy here, then it's harder for him to get away from them, right? Whereas now. He goes this way and he gets away from this one at least. It makes sense, like it may, it's probably what everybody would do. Yeah, it's not over, it's absolutely not over. You know, that could have been a death, right? That could have just been a straight death then he would get an extra zombie and he's got 13 so he's got players like yes he's massively down quality down the flesh golem and the ghoul next half but he's he's unlikely to be down players well he's only got one chance to get the wolf back hasn't he so yes i mean this this ghoul this ghoul could also yeah this ghoul failed to dodge into death this one could do the same but yeah anything can happen from the other side yeah, the knobs aren't that far ahead right now. I mean, they are ahead, obviously, 9 versus 8, but they're only one player ahead. I do like this 2-for-1 trade here. Like, it's it's bad in terms of TV, right? 80 versus 160. But it's good in terms of just num pure numbers. It's a good trade. And he's already blitzed, so like he could have one D blitzed this guy, right, and ran away. That would have been a fine thing to do. Be a bit less risky than the dodge. But like now he does have to dodge, so like Oh god, this is so bad. It's so bad for Bright. This was kind of what I was dreading, right? It was like just two draws and then you get diced in the third one or like even the second one. Like if you draw the first game, you get diced in the second, you still just go out, right? So. Wait a minute, that is, that is sure pills. That is the, that is the awaiting the winner of this, uh, that is the coach who was awaiting the winner of uh, this match. So there you go. Thanks for the follow-up. He's failed the dodge, makes it with the dodge skill. 
and then has to rush as well. And he probably has to make two dodges to even vaguely have a cage. Maybe it doesn't actually, right? So that's a dodge, it's wrestle though. It's a dodge for a 2D, so. Yeah, and then put him outside because you can't you can't close the front and the back, so you just put it at the sides. So at least you've got the guard there. Decent, decent from uh Andre. Oh, from Bright, sorry. <laughs> Fails his dodge, gets KO'd. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. I mean, he's still just doing the same thing right here as. You can 2D ball. I mean, if he, if he gets this down, he gets that knockdown, that's huge. Does that mean this guy, this this peasant can assist, I think, now? Yep, the peasant can come in. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. It was a good effort, yep. It's 75% for a 2D on the ball. Okay, so I don't, I don't like that. I don't like that. He was like here or something, right? You could like come out to there or something, and then the one who was further away could have assisted from here. That's what I, I like, pulling the guy further away, and then this guy coming up around here or somewhere. But that's okay. I mean, it's, it's all okay, isn't it? There's pros and cons. That's just what I liked. The problem is, as well, he's got more stuff behind now, hasn't he? He's got three players behind the ball. He needs stuff in front of the ball. Just dipping into time bank here, surprisingly enough, hasn't needed. But you, do, you know, you do want to lock it down completely, right? right? And he's managed to not lock it down. He's managed to not stay ahead. Maybe he shouldn't have gone for this behind the ball, right? Maybe he should have just try to blitz this guy. Stay in front. Then you hate failing the foul appearance. Lots of tinking. Runs him back, okay. So that's quite nice, isn't it? Now this guy's holding two and the oak is free. But you know, he can blitz free so he doesn't have to dodge anymore. And he's got a screen for the ball <laughs> that can be like, what, one, two, three, four, five, six. You can have like a screen up here.
Like it's not it's not terrible, is it? I mean it's pretty horrendous. Don't get me wrong. It's really, 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 really bad. And really bad for winning the whole game as well. It's not just the drivers, big the, you know, that's the thing the cars are like. The end of the day, it's like it's all about putting your players in the right square, isn't it? And the best place to put your squad, your opponent's players is off the pitch. Yes, exactly, Adev. Yeah, yeah. It's it's actually from how completely horrific it was before. This is somehow you know, you could imagine Dior saying this is fine now. Yep, you, Diomed and Bright have got the same build. They've both only gone one wolf um, to have two ghouls and 13 players. Fails a dodge. Last reroll. Does he use it? He does. So he's got a bit of a sideline screen. Pretty good, all things considered. Now, like blitzing the wraiths up because of foul appearance. Could have handed off to the right. <laughs> I can't go through them, obviously. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, rush, rush, yeah. So we could pretend we're potentially two dice in the ball here. I mean, I probably would. I really wouldn't be happy about having to two dice the ball this turn, but I would. Well, if you knock down the fleshy. Yeah. I mean, I think this is the time to hit the ball here. Did somehow let Andre off the hook a little bit. No, Andre. Oh my God, I can't get the players right. Andre let Bright off the hook a little bit, maybe. You know, like maybe he could have clamped down a bit harder to stop this happening. Being, I mean, that's being like super nitpicky, right? But maybe he did. So yeah, you block with a, you block with this guy, and then you can double rush to assist. Either guard, guard can go in there, right? Which is quite nice for the push. Or you can just assist from the side there. Oh my god, both rerolls gone. Oh my god, both rerolls gone. Now you just definitely move this guy up like to here or whatever, right? And one, two, three, four, five, six. It is a rush to two dice the ball. Flip me. He's not doing it. Oh. He's not risking it. Interesting. Interesting. Didn't risk the, ro the blitz after using both rerolls. Yeah, strategy. Strategy. That's pretty strong, isn't it? Because now the Wraith can, like, try to 1D. And then, you know, if he gets, what, a 4 plus with a 1D, then he can 4 3 with a ghoul, which isn't great, is it? But that's your only real play now. Maybe he'll think of something better, but.
could blitz with that wraith, couldn't he? He could blitz with this wraith. Surf. Then you're going backwards though, PC. That doesn't sound good. Tries the 4 plus there, doesn't get it. Oh god. Yeah, that's the thing, this the stand firm meant that there was no there was no uh, surfing this guy. And he fails. Thing is if you, if you try going out backwards and you fail then it's closer to your end zone as well. And like it's just where do you go after you come out backwards, right? I think I think blocking this one was the was like I mean it's rubbish, but yeah, it's rubbish. It's all rubbish. Blitz with a wraith as well. Was it better just to let the knobs hit the ball? Probably not, right? They've got they've got wrestle. But yeah, maybe in a way. In a way, maybe for February or yeah, maybe. Maybe do a Niagara, let uh let Nuffle take the wheel. <laughs> oh well, instant pickup. And that puts him into scoring range this turn, instantly. So, yep, looking really bad. Really bad for Bright. The future is dark <laughs> for Bright. It's just awful, isn't it? Because you can't push anything either, ever. It's like, at least you could push it into this for like a follow up one day, except you can't. I mean, Bright did do well. Oh my goodness. Bright did do well. Slash Andre let him off the hook a bit, you know, depending on which way you look at it. I don't know the answer. But, um, maybe there's things that could have been done differently, but it's hard, like it's really hard, like I mean it's really hard to, to say that, but yeah I mean it's, I guess it's better to just give credit to uh, to uh, Bright for battling through and doing what he could, I mean at least he didn't give up Bright, at least he didn't give up, some people could have given up mentally, uh, Bright definitely hasn't done that, so he, he at least deserves credit for that. Yes, yeah, exactly. Indeed, PC. Indeed. So now this is going to be a pretty crucial fleshy blitz that you don't really want to divert people back for. Like, you want to keep this guy up as a handoff option, right? So you really don't want to move this guy. You certainly don't want to blitz back with him. So you want to try and get it so he does go for the ogre activation. Gets the full pow. And there's no rerolls for Andre. It's a removal, almost like, almost like removing players is good. Yeah, the ogre has been great this game. Oh wow, this was a risky hit, wasn't it? This was a risky hit. 
Oh, but now he can hand off backwards. He probably had to sidestep up here, didn't he? Now he's got the hand off backwards. That's like the safest thing he can do. And he's out to no rerolls as well. So. That's not coaching, is it, to say he's got that? I mean, he knows they've got catch. He's playing the team. <laughs> um, he's probably thinking about exactly where other things are going and stuff. Yeah, he's got two turns, yeah. Okay, so I don't like this. I feel like you want a guy behind, right? So I don't know what he's doing. Maybe he's not going for handoff. Surely he's going for handoff. He just thinks it's going to work. He's just planning for the success of the handoff. I would have planned for the failure of the handoff. But... Um, Like, oh my god, he rushed. Oh no, he dodged. He's like, what the hell? He's in range, right? He's in range. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah. I thought, I thought I'd thought i miscounted and he wasn't in range and he just failed the rush. Like, this guy, is he doing a lot here? Not really, right? He could have been there. Is what I'm thinking. This guy really isn't doing a whole lot, so this guy could have been up there. Anyway, but... Gets the wrestle. The fleshy is free. Does he blitz and base? Or does he... Uh, 6 plus 1d. I guess he has to just blitz and base, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah. Like, literally could have just failed the handoff. And then the ghoul could have, like, gone... Right, 4, 5, 6, 7. Rush, rush and, you know, defended the score. I mean, after turn one, the roles were reversed, right? And Bright was trying to come out with this half nil-nil and Andre was trying to come out one nil ahead. Like, it was... The first... Turn zero and turn one were just an insane... insane shift in, like, momentum and odds and everything. It was just completely... Even though, even though Bright still had the ball, <laughs> it was Andre's drive to lose instantly. Gets the pow, full pow, Kaz, kill, no, and then a rush to base. So not terrible, right? It's given him something. 75% to get the knockdown is Andre, and then if that fails, he's still got the um, he's still got the eight out of nine dodge. So it's very uh, very good odds still. Andre. He doesn't have enough to make it three dice. Gets the knockdown. Not technically a knockdown, you know, gets the removal of the flesh golem out of the way. The wolf comes back, but the wraith doesn't. So, it's still very grim for Bright. Ten players and down massive quality. Absolutely massive quality down. Nobtacular, this is it. I mean, can't believe it. We nearly got All World Alliance through, but it looks like we're going to get Imperial Nobility through. Flip me. Hey, this is so hard for, for Bright now. Yeah, it's huge. Like that's the that's the worst thing about about them about the Necro, right? Is and undead. It's just like the yeah, it's a gulf. It's a gulf between a, a position and a, and a zombie. People say zombies are good linemen, and they are in the sense that you know they're good to stand there and get punched. But my god, are they bad to like use? <laughs> like they're so bad. 
to actually use as a player. And oh my god, yeah, he's only got one of each positional. <laughs> yeah, yeah they're, they're, yeah, they're cheap TV-wise, and they're good for taking hits on the LOS, but like, if you actually have to play, if you actually have to use them rather than using positionals, they are god-awful. They're like so terrible. They are so, so, so bad. <laughs> and, uh, and this is it. Yeah, yeah, he's only got two pairs of hands, yeah. Oh, there's a blitz, not quite as impactful for, uh, <laughs> for Bright. <laughs> <laughs> with, no, with no players left, but um, oh, oh wow! Imagine if Stan Firm could only be used on your turn. That would be hilarious, wouldn't it? If this guy was just surfed, but I mean, that's not the case. But it would be a funny thing if it was. One wolf. Um, so you don't go. You lose the ghoul, Tuk Tuk. So. Both Davo and Bright, they've both got three good players. Well, three mobile players, whatever. Three ball handlers. Um, and you either get two ghouls and a wolf, or you get two wolves and a ghoul. And, like, ghouls are really, really good. What, what they get extra is they get a 13th player, which they're already using. So, you know, they, they've got this zombie on the pitch that wouldn't be on the pitch. You do get a 13th man. And the 13th man isn't irrelevant, especially with overtime. It's not, like, it's it's usually not too relevant, but it means they can foul a little bit more. Um, and basically how they play is the bright build, you use your wolf as, like, a safety, making crucial hits. And, you know, you've got ghouls running around being annoying and stuff. Whereas the day ball build is... Your ghoul is your ball carrier, and you've got your wolves punching things, maximizing use out of them as much as possible. You don't, you still want to protect them, but you don't have to protect them as much as Bright has to protect his one wolf. Oh yeah, that's a good point. No, no, you do get pushed in a turn. No, during a, a game turn, Rolex, using a turn, right? If you could only use it during your opponent's turn, and then you couldn't use it on a blitz. That's what I'm saying, right? A wolf surfable. I mean, technically. The wolf is technically surfable. But. It's very difficult, isn't it? Three, four, five, six, rush, rush. Like, you've got to. You've got to power, and then you've got to make two rushes. You've got to double power, and then make double rush. You could go two re-rolls and get all positions, but you, I don't think you can go two re-rolls. I think two re-rolls is rubbish. Okay. Well, you can just you can just surf the, the wraith there instantly. That's pretty good, isn't it? He could commit. He could commit every player. This couldn't he? What's this? One, two, three, four, five, six. Rush, rush. He could double rush to there. Uh, forget the ball completely <laughs> and surf the wall. But yeah, it's pretty hard to surf. The ball. <laughs> yeah, greedy blitzing. Yeah. Yeah, I think the two rerolls. So if you do two reroll, then I feel like you have to take like you know block on the fleshies, right? And I feel like block on the fleshies is worse. Like three rerolls is not really in. Three rerolls doesn't really feel enough anyway, with four guard and limited block. So and you know no no sure hands or anything. So I feel like going under three rerolls is really bad. It's funny, isn't it, Cosmigo? Because in the previous game, his dice were pretty rubbish, and then in this, in this one, they've been incredible.
The ball is in the end zone though, so you know, things could happen. Doubling up on the goo. Interesting. That forces him to do a 4-3 dodge out rather than a one dice blitz up. Oh, and then he just walls it off completely. Okay, I quite like that. I quite like that because while while um, Bright appears to have <laughs> nine players in the pitch, he actually has two, doesn't he? <laughs> he actually has two players in the pitch <laughs> because literally seven of his players are absolute garbage. <laughs> um... The flesh golem, yes, it can it can punch, but it can't go anywhere or do anything. So, yeah, this is pretty this is pretty diabolical. As far as what's a threat, there's two threats, which is the goo and the wolf, and then anything else you just don't care about. Yep, talking about the fleshies with block. There we go. And that's the thing, I really like guard on the fleshies, right? Like, I really like guard on the fleshies. So... Oh, that wasn't a fleshy, that was the zombie. But never mind. S same argument applies, right? Same kind of thing, like... Guard is just so good on the fleshies that I don't want to give up guard to have a more reliable block. Wow, Bright really just wants his ghoul foul, doesn't he? He's like, here's the assist. <laughs> foul it. All of them trying to tackle him looks funny. <laughs> Muscle on the wolf, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's pretty terrible. Yeah. So, you know, he's done a good job of getting the wolf free, right? It's actually pretty hard to control the wolf here unless you just smash it with a, with an ogre, right? But then that's fraught with risk. Ogre, well, I don't know, he's based, really fraught with risk in that he's based. So you, if you didn't see the zombie behind him, you'd be screwed. I mean, this is perfect. Perfect positioning by Andre here, uh, by Bright, sorry, you know? You can look at that ogre and think, ah, oh, yes, I'll just go and hit this guy. But... Pro tip, do this if you have to think about moving your big guy. <laughs> yeah, that's nice that the wolf's free. If this is a failed pickup, could be a touchdown. Full power. <laughs> Uh, Bright has one player. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. Oh god. I mean, do you know what? This is how to beat Necro, isn't it? I think if I get this versus Dave, I'll be alright. I've got a feeling. <laughs> I've got a feeling. <laughs> <laughs> if this is what the sidelines look against Davo, I'll be quite happy. <laughs> and 2-0 <two nil> up. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus. Thanks, Punter. I mean, I, I do too. Not, 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 in, not being mean to Devo. Just, you know, I want to win, <laughs> and this is the best way to win. Just remove everything. <laughs> remove everything that you look at. <laughs> it's a pretty good way to win. He's been super safe here, hasn't he, by going on the sideline? Because now all he can do is touch him. So you know, that was absolutely the correct play. I didn't pick knobs, no, that's true. Yeah, the orcs got smashed out, didn't they? Orcs got banged out, Rock versus Yatsuk. Lizards got banged out, Nabolo versus Dragoo. 
and now Necro have been. This isn't even like oh the humans right? Um, Slade got banged out by Frankie. This isn't even as bad as some games. Like it's only two cars. It doesn't look that bad, but it's the fact that they came on turn zero. <laughs> turn zero, the fleshy died, and then turn one, the ghoul died. So Andre's first turn was against nine players. The start of his first turn. So you know that it was it was the the timing of this was just insane. Yeah, yeah, as punching bags, zombies are, are a great lineman. Great lineman as punching bags. Just terrible lineman if they if you want them to do anything ever. This is an interesting head test here from Bright, and uh, he's just decided. Screw it. No, I think I think it's probably fine. Anyway. He did roll it, but it was it was still a dicing. It was it was, st it was still ludicrous. Like it didn't need to be as bad as it was, did it? I mean, you have to hit the uh, you have to hit the wolf, don't you? There's no there's no option here. <laughs> You can even foul the wolf, right? If you power it. Doesn't power it. Yeah. Bright just needs something. <laughs> it's a quiet dark room, yeah, yeah, this is... It's hard, isn't it? I mean, this was... The... I was kind of terrified of getting dice like this. And, uh... I did a little bit, right? Like, to be fair, actually... Um, my game versus the All World Alliance was pretty horrible. But, you know, in the in the knockout phase, like, it's just... It sucks, doesn't it? I have to, I have to get in the draws as well. So... You know, at least if this has happened in like the first game, you could, you know, do your damnedest to win the second one. But when it coming in the final one, where there's nothing you can really do anymore, it does suck. But that's Blood Bowl. You know, Bright's valiantly doing things with his his army of zombies, but. Do you give the wolf a dig here? I quite like I quite like just fouling with this knob. It's only a two assist foul though, isn't it? But like when your opponent has literally one player left <laughs> It seems like you should try to remove him. <laughs> Now he's going to punch and run away from him.
Could go up there, we could go across. I mean, the fleshy can just fall plus off in there, so if he goes away, he's got to kind of go here, I guess, and then the wolf can fall three. Yeah, I'm not sure. Like, I, th I think I prefer just fouling him, honestly. Because you could go down there, couldn't you? Yeah, he's, gonna, he's got to come back to the middle here, yeah. Like it's hard, right? It's it's hard for it's hard for this is hard for Andrew too now, right? Because obviously he's pretty happy <laughs> knowing that he's dies bright and he's just almost certainly gonna win and he's just trying to not mess anything up and you know, the all the nerves etc. It's like it's fair enough. Well, this could be a... It's somewhat easy, two dice on the ball, bizarrely. Bizarrely, this isn't too hard to get two dice on the ball. Oh, well, now it's harder. Okay, so you can four plus and then four three. Or he just falls with him. Okay. Oh my god, what? I've never seen that before! That's hilarious! <laughs> I've, never, I've, I've never seen that before! <laughs> Incredible! Oh my god, it's the best. The best fleshy ever! Oh my god, Andy got the knockdown, Andy got the removal, and the, white, and the wolf can recover! Oh my god, that's incredible. And he's picked it up. <laughs> yeah, it was a vampire. <laughs> vampire fleshy. Holy shit. That's incredible. Incredible. Uh, it's still pretty over, right? Because he can 2D push him into a wrestle hit. But, I mean, incredible stuff. From Bright. And also Blood Bowl 3. <laughs> That was so funny. But yeah, quad skulls now. Quad skulls on this hit. It's not over till the fleshy floats. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. It's it's basically over. Yeah, even if even if something happens, he's still. You can get all these back. It's not that bad being down a flesh in a duel. Like it's bad, but it's not that bad. But he would need to get everything else back. Oh, he only gives himself the one chance. But this way he's got the blodger as recovery. So you know it's all it's all pros and cons, isn't it? Oh wow, he's gotta re-roll this because he wants to foul the wolf. Now, and like now you have to foul the wolf, right? Because if the wolf's out, it doesn't matter if he two down, if he you know knocks off the ball. As long as he can't pick it up with the wolf. Be fine. It's not too crazy to get two to get a one D on the ball. He can't really get a two D unless he just goes for a six plus dodge. Which he might. That might be the best way, but then even if he does He's got no rerolls left, even if he cases the guy, you know. He's gotta wait next turn for the wolf to send up and he'll just foul the wolf again. Great effort though. Great effort from Bright. You know, not the greatest game because it was basically decided turn one with these two. But turn zero was this, and then and then Bright's turn one was this. And then Andre only had to face nine players on his first turn. Like, that's insane. Okay, so we go one dice on the ball. And he pops the ball on a four plus. You know, which isn't crazy. Gets it.
Oh, zombie recovery's on. Let's go, 4-4. Four, four. No. No. Failed in the stun. Diced. It's a lovely spot for the ogre. No bow though on the ogre, you'll notice. Don't like this blitz, he could have blitzed with the block. I'd just blitz with block, right? I, I wouldn't even pick up the ball here, I just, just want to foul them. <laughs> I want to foul the, I want to foul the wolf more than I want to pick up the ball myself, to be honest. Runs away. Uh, no, it's still in scoring range. Well, it's fair enough. I mean, he's left him up, but yeah. He's only got the wolf, hasn't he? So he, he has to be blitzing the ball with fleshes and zombies because the wolf has to be the scoring threat, so zombies can't pass either. So like, fleshies can't pass. Maybe you just end the turn now with Bright, honestly. <laughs> I guess he's got a one doing the ball here, hasn't he? Oh, if he power, he still technically might have it. Goals, and now it is over. Wow. Unbelievable. He waited for the perfect time to turn on the admin dices. <laughs> and that is it. That is definitely Andre getting through. Nobs OP. That would be amazing. It's possible, yeah, it's possible, Rolex. It is possible. Andre's in the top half of the draw. It is possible to be a knob off in the final, yeah. Yep. Yeah. I mean, there's maybe the... No, because he can't pass it, no. It, it, he's got no players with PA. There's definitely not even, like, the craziest possible thing ever. Because, uh... Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I'm very surprised. I mean, not very surprised. That's maybe a bit strong, right? Game three. It was always possible, game three. And, you know, before, before the match, like... Before the series, at the end of the day, it's good players playing good ball. You know, the teams aren't ridiculously unbalanced, right? It's maybe 60-40 to Bright on teams. And yeah, over three games, you'd expect that to tell. But, you know, the coaching, I don't know what, the, what that is, but it's, it's close to 50 between everybody in the top 16. So, you know... Just anything can happen, and uh, shut up, help me. 
I'm I'm not I'm I'm not joking, help me shut up, don't be a dick. Um so there you go, that is the round of sixteen Andre advances. Congratulations to Andre. Commiserations to Bright. And uh, there we are. That's the that's the final sixteen or set. Very exciting. I could I could probably do like a little video for this, right? I could show all sixteen teams and talk about the matches and stuff. For this thing, I like I did for the round of thirty-two. Um, but yeah. Very exciting. Obviously, you can see down the bottom there, I'm playing Andy Davo. <laughs> and if I win, I've got to play... Well, whoever wins has got to play Olivier Dulac or Serafino in the quarterfinals. So, yeah. But, I mean, there's no easy games. At the end of the day, you know... Yeah, yeah, Andy and I have got a tough match. But it would have still been tough versus any, anybody else in here. So, it's just really names is all the... It's the only differences, right? Name recognition. Very marginal differences in in everything else. So there you go. And uh, and teams. So, you know, Zerbals is probably happy bright, bright loss because it's a lot easier to beat Imperial Nobility than it is to beat Necromantic. Um, so there you go. Right. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic. <laughs>